Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is September 7th, 2018, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, 2.30 South African time out of Canada, we have an employment change numbers coming out. And then simultaneously at 2.30 South African time out of the United States, the most important number of the month, non-farm payroll change will be coming out as well. So two important numbers later today, but one more important than the other, obviously, in the non-farm payroll coming out of the United States. But let's take a look at the markets and see what's been happening, what we can anticipate for today. This conference will now be recorded. So looking at the markets, I've seen more activity in the stocks and the indices than I've seen in the Forex symbols. We're looking here at the Euro USD. And as you can see, really on a one hour chart, we really haven't traded in much of a range this week, almost just 20 pips, really 20 to 40 pips. But that's really a very tight range. Okay, that might change today, okay, with the non-farm payroll numbers coming out. Uh, but I, I would be likely to think that, you know, I would go more towards uh, the indices, if you were going to trade something or the stocks, because I think that, you know, looking at what's been happening in the Forex symbols, it's been a little bit dull. OK, at least in the euro and the GBP, GBP, same story, as you can see here, we've really been in a quite tight range in the GBP as well. However, looking at the Aussie USD, we're still not breaking this further down. OK, um, it looks like it wants to break it down, but it you know, it's there, it kind of teases us with that area, uh, and now it's breaking down a little bit further, but nothing really to write home about. Okay, I'd like to see some velocity, some momentum on the downside, and continued volume, and we're not getting that yet. Okay, and not to say that we won't get it later today, but I'd anticipate some sort of move on the downside on the Aussie USD as it's breaking down. Looking at the USD Japanese yen, same story. OK, it has broken down down to the 110 level, the dollar getting weaker versus the yen here, as you can see. But that's something to really, you know, make a note of because we're really flirting with previous support line at this 110 level. OK, so that's something to keep an eye out as well. USD Canadian dollar as well, you know, getting stronger versus the USD here uh, back down to the 131.27 ish level. If we look at a daily chart and really, you know, we still have way to go to challenge our support level, but still, okay, we are bouncing off of that first support level, 131.15-ish level. So if that continues later today, that's something to, you know, to make note, okay, that we can, you know, still get further weaker versus the dollar, okay? Altogether, Canadian dollar is seeing some slump with what's going on with NAFTA. Um, a lot of things are really cumulative in this business, and you have to take it all into consideration. Okay, so even if we, the non-farm payroll number comes out and it's a great number, and everything is dandy, okay, we still may see some weakness in the dollar. Okay, and just because all this, you know, cumulative stuff that has been going on over the past six months, I would say, you know, has you know, and will be taking effect. Some of the tariffs that, you know, Donald Trump has imposed on some of the other countries in Europe, on Canada, you know, and vice versa. All right. So we still have to see how that all plays out. Now, looking at oil, we had a nice sell off yesterday to 70, 17, didn't break above it and then sold off. Now, if we look quite sharply, you can see a head and shoulders formation right there is the head. There's one shoulder. And then maybe that will be the second shoulder. OK, so just be aware that that's a upside down head and shoulders. So if that does actually create and we do hold this line, this may mean that we may bounce here at least to the 69 level. OK, so keep that in mind as that continues later today. Now, jumping into the indices. OK, now the Dow Jones is strong, as you can see, 25,900 ish level. OK, hasn't receded whatsoever. OK, however. Looking at the NASDAQ, okay, tremendous sell off we had here to 7,500, 7,439 ish level from our 76.91. That's a, you know, that's a nice turnaround on what's been happening with the NASDAQ. Now, that's being propelled with, you know, people taking uh, profits into their Apple stock, as you can see here, Apple, you know, trading less uh, to 20, 223, excuse me, from 229. So that's a nice retracement for Apple. And the same story for Amazon, okay? People taking in those profits and trading below $2,000 range, okay? So those are just, you know, people taking profits, okay? That doesn't mean that the market is turning and it's getting weaker, but that's something to take a note of, okay? However, looking at the DAX as we're looking, 
you know, this is a breakdown, okay? This is a massive breakdown below our support level of 12,169. We haven't been in this area since March, okay? And we're closing in on this 11,900-ish level, okay? So if it does hold this line, we can anticipate that it will bounce, okay? But that is a massive retracement for the DAX, getting weaker versus the Dow. As you can see, the Dow didn't really sell off, okay? Whereas the DAX really sold off. So it's showing some tremendous weakness there. So just keep an eye on that later today. Now, yesterday we mentioned a couple of stocks that were breaking apart because, you know, this was your go-to um, when the markets are weak, okay, like the NASDAQ, your go-to ones are, you know, the weaker stocks. And sure enough, Facebook broke that level from 170-ish level, we discussed that yesterday, gap down to 169 and continued the sell-off to 162. Now that's a massive retracement for Facebook and a nice break down below its support level of 170. Remember, this was the gap down after, you know, it was mentioned that Facebook will be somewhat regulated and then, you know, it broke down to 170.99 ish level. Uh, so we really haven't seen this levels back in March as well. So this is something of a massive retracement. Now, Facebook is an important bellwether stock. You know, it does uh, comprise uh, for one of the larger uh, bellwethers in the, you know, the stock exchange, the Dow and the NASDAQ. So that's an important retracement for us. Now, Tesla is another one that broke down a little bit from 289 down to 280. We mentioned this as well yesterday. Now, this is not as important as Facebook has an impact on the markets, uh, but this is something of importance because it is breaking down. So if it does continue to break down to this 274, we could see it back in the 250 dollar range. So that's something to keep an eye on as well today. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.